All right, so it's thankful week. Yeah, that was turkey week. Even though technically, you know, from what I learned turkey on Sunday, uh, you're supposed to be thankful in all things at all times. So <laughs> I hate yeah. when people do that. What? When they, when they take away the significance of a specific celebration and day by just saying, well, you're supposed to be like that all the time. Yeah, no, duh. But we're going to be extra so on this day. Like, why do you get to snatch it away from this particular day and celebration and festivity by doing your generic bullcrap? Well, the... They're, the just, they're just a naysayer. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant it as, like, like really... No, not you. Everyone should be thankful every day because... People take things Not for granted you, all the yeah. time. And also, like, to be honest, on Thanksgiving, I don't even think of it as that anymore. I think of it as a day for food. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I it's mostly, it's, well, for me, it's mostly pumpkin pie. But <laughs> so uh, we're going to talk about that stuff later because uh, I, I, we're, we're again more prepared. I think last week was really good. Uh, but w- this was our first week that we started releasing every day, including Sunday. Andrew did a great job this Sunday. I'm still, I, was, I don't know why I was so excited about that video still, but we had, uh, he did the okay for kids, which we haven't done in a while. And it was about what Miles Morales. No. And it was really good. And it turned out really good. And yeah, because we know it's a trend, which we're going to film some stuff in that tonight. Uh, Among Us and also the okay for kids are actually the two bigger things on this channel. It's weird. And, like, we, we stopped doing the OK for Kids because they were just hard to do weekly, especially, like, when new games came out that we couldn't afford, maybe, or maybe we just didn't That's think. Big. The other big thing was we couldn't get the games. So, right at the moment, it's probably going to be more of, like, a random thing. Like, that's why it's Sunday, because Sunday I thought, okay, so Jason and I don't always film GTA videos, but we film them, like, every so often. So, Thursday was the day that was a random day, but now that's going to be on Sunday. So, Sundays will be the day that, like... Maybe an OK for Kids will come out, and then maybe like a GTA video will come out, or maybe we play some like Among Us might come out on a Sunday or something like that. Sunday Fun Day, you never know what you're gonna get. Sunday Fun Day is gonna be the name of the the thing then. Uh, just cause like uh like so Monday or yeah Sunday through Tuesday or technically uh like days that we could do um multiple persp- multiple perspective things and then like. Thursday through Saturday are like the days that um, are more of the watch through style things. So that it's one perspective fixed. Uh, and then Wednesday is the podcast. So like it's three days on either side of the podcast and three of them are specific content. Three of them are another specific content. So it gives this channel more schedulation. So you kind of understanding what's coming up. That's not a word, is it? Nope. Anything's <laughs> a word if you're brave enough. Okay. Create your own words. you like, Someone's society tell you what you want your words to be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's just basically like a channel rundown because we I know we haven't talked a lot about the channel in a while since so we've been trying to get onto actual topics. But yeah, so if you're here, that's our schedule. Welcome. This first week we've done seven days in a row. Sucks. Um, but hi. Not going to do introduction because you know who everyone is. And uh, yeah. You know who I am. We don't know who you are. Yeah, we also, Andrew and I were talking yesterday. Uh, we do our podcast on Twitch, him and I do. And we do a regular one on Sundays. It's always scheduled. And we were talking about <laughs> the fact that we feel like we're like, um, like right now we're basically at the point that we're just putting videos out there to just get attention. And then yesterday we were like, it's going to be weird one day when we're not having to put videos out there to get attention. But we have to put videos out there for the people that are actually watching continuously. I'm like, this is a scary thing to think about. I'm like, we're going to still release the same stuff, but now there's a reason to release it rather than us trying to forcefully get people to start viewing our stuff. It's a weird thing to think about. Forcefully get. <laughs> Watch our stuff. Well, um, I don't, I don't know if we really talked about it, Jason with you, but I know I talked to Kevin and Andrew about it. Like the channel has, in my opinion, I think Redirected's probably going to hit uh, 100 subs in less time than it took for Bio to get hit that number. Uh, at the rate it's going right now, uh, the view count is definitely up there. Um, not just from that one video. Like, 
bio has one video that has a lot of views and that's of course the what is bio and that's because a bunch of college kids are doing research on what biolumi like bio biology and bioluminescence is it was like we didn't expect that to happen that thing's at ten thousand views right now <laughs> which is still kind of cool <laughs> it goes up 500 views a day <laughs> it slowed down recently but then it picked back up like two weeks ago and it's it's crazy um, are those com- views or are those just people opening it no they start watching it and then get attached to it the the numbers stayed about the same on how long it's been viewed and it's usually around i mean some people do click off but it's at like 70 percent, which is nice uh so they get kind of a message i know that one we didn't like force god down anyone's throat so that helps i um, keep telling i he's not gonna win any hearts by yelling at him yep that's why uh yeah also, Jason, you don't know about this. This is more like the update part at the beginning of this, I guess. Recap. I can shoot again. <laughs> yeah, you better watch out. <laughs> you better He's not loaded. cry. He's loaded. I'm so excited. I literally, Andrew came, uh, dropped me off yesterday after church, and he, literally I just pulled it out of the box instantly, threw my old mouse in the garbage. I asked him if, I, if he wanted to burn it. Uh, but I didn't know where the lighter was, so I decided not to do that. Um, he literally just looked at me and just opened the trash can and just put it inside. I dropped it from a distance. It doesn't work anymore. It's going in the trash. Pull it out of the trash can and save it for me. I have an idea. I don't think it's in the trash can anymore. Someone took the trash out for once. It wasn't me this time. Of course he did. The one time. <laughs> the one time. That sucks. <laughs> um So with with our usual stuff, now that update dive's done. Update whoa. Uh unless you guys have any updates, Jason, any updates? Andrew got a new power supply, but we talked about that last week. Hey, you Did guys we? might not have seen this. Oh yeah, you were bald last think, week too. I think we saw that. Andrew, Andrew was like, "I miss it," and you're like, "I'm not. I don't. I don't." I'll grow something back. I don't know what, but I'll grow something back. Hair, hopefully, preferably. Well, I mean, it could be hair. It could be crystals, candy canes. Who knows? I uh, candy canes. Have to say, Jason. <laughs> between between you and I, I know that you're the other Clone War fan. I don't know if Kevin's watched Clone Wars. To completion. I, I literally just started rewatching it. Um <laughs> like two nights ago. I'm caught up on Mando right now. And all I can say is right? it's literally just the Clone Wars right? live action. It's literally just a live action Clone Wars and like I'm freaking out. Like the next episode's called The Jedi and like we already know what's going on cuz they already put spoilers out there but it's just Ahsoka and I'm like <laughs> It's all written by the next one's completely written and done by Dave as well. So it's literally just a live action uh, Clone Wars episode. From what I hear, Ezra might be coming on the show. That well, that makes sense. He should be with her. That or um, the voice actor uh, had blue contacts no on and said he had lines to learn. She was looking for him with, uh, what's her name? At the end of Rebels. So if if she found him, great. If yeah, not, but this this so the timeline gets real wibbly wobbly. Timey wimey. Ezra Ezra might not come around until a few years after the time period we're at with Mando. Yeah, it's always else? hard to get like an exact time period, an exact date, year, galactic year, whatever. Um. Well, also it doesn't help that Ezra has has been to a place that he can literally do things in time. He literally went to the, the TARDIS. It's not basically. like he's going back, though. Well, we don't know what happened. He just went away and said, I got to learn the Force, and then float off on a whale. He owed it. talking math to me. Huh? You guys are talking math to oh me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and Andrew has this new phrase that he started with me because... Talking math. I tried I tried explaining how editing goes without actually editing, so I was just talking really fast and he, he, he just, talked for like he talked really fast and really precise for a great five minutes. He goes I'm like, 
this the answer's oh. three. I'm like, what? He goes, <laughs> is, this, is this a math test? I said, I don't know. I was just I ex- I it. I was just explaining how it goes because like, so I thought about it, I'm probably gonna make a video and put it in Drive. So if y'all ever decide you guys want to make content and just tell me to upload it, do it. <laughs> Want to start seeing? I still got to get the, the the other graphics card put in. At this point, you might be fine. Well, uh, have you, has your computer done anything else recently? Um, not so much. It still gets a little glitchy and twitchy. Did you um? Did you update the drivers for AMD recently? Because they had a bigger update that fixed the fan problems of turn like going reverting back. Yeah, that update fixes a lot of things. It no longer did reverts AMD, such, such as did I Duty. AMD finally make a program that doesn't undo everything you've done and fry your graphics card? Yep. It's the same nice. program, but yeah. They fixed Call of Duty. Yeah, he actually had to do a driver's update to fix uh, Cold War. I couldn't play the campaign because they kept freezing on the same point. You know what you need, Andrew? You need the new AMD... XT 6800 and you need to overclock it at 2.3 gigahertz with liquid nitrogen as I just saw a few minutes ago no I know Jason would be excited about that so I, I wrote it down you don't have money hey, for that. hey you had me at liquid nitrogen yeah someone liquid, <laughs> someone someone overclocked their their uh, GPU with liquid nitrogen hey it works man <laughs> just don't crack it Ever. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> like scary, ever. Dude. <laughs> Don't touch it. You need some thick, strong glass. And yeah. you can't even make it plastic. It has to be glass. Would I do it? Or or um uh, or metal, but then you can't see it. It's not as much fun. Yeah, but like why? I think they did glass on theirs. I think they encased it with glass and then did a layer of glass to keep the liquid nitrogen inside of. So like the graphics cards encased in glass, and then the liquid nitrogen's encased with glass. Ugh. It it was pretty sick though. Like, I think the numbers you can get overclocking now are like basically like the 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 lowest I've ever seen is three. Uh, I'm sure some people have got a little bit lower than that, like two point eight, but two point which doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> but the computers I think, are. I think the lowest I've ever seen is three. But the standard is, like, standards for most graphics cards, like, before you do any clocking or anything, is, like, 4 to 4.3. Uh, 4.6 if you have a really slow one. Um, sometimes you'll see 3.8, 3.4. But, yeah, like, the standards are not below 3 or at 3. So, yeah, overclocking is, is fun when you learn how to actually do it and know what you're doing. Now, yeah, Andrew taught me something called underclocking, which I have no idea what the hell that is. It's not good. I think it's where you like make it where your computer's not using as much. Yeah. Which is good, actually. It's supposed to preserve longevity. Um Yeah. And also I learned recently too with the new Cyberpunk coming out, <laughs> apparently ray tracing is exclusive to NVIDIA. Yeah. Which is sad uh... for that game. AMD has ray tracing with the new sixty eight hundred cards. It's actually better than NVIDIA's ray tracing. But Cyberpunk is only going to work on NVIDIA's. Which is kind of sad. But NVIDIA is the ones that started it. And they and the AMDs are not out yet, technically. They just came out. If they're even They haven't yet. released. They were just announced. Okay. So probably what it is is uh, CD Projekt Red got their hands on one of the, the graphics cards. And that's how they built the next... Uh, models of the game with that one so they could figure it out. Do, do you know they're partnered with with these companies, right? That too. Like, they, they're they given this stuff to test them. But yeah, you have, like, the, some games that start off Dude, with the NVIDIA passed, logo and the AMD logo. They pass is, stuff like that out to freaking YouTubers. Of course, they're going to give it to developers. Which, is, it's, it's funny, though, because, like, I'm pretty sure Witcher 3 was ran by AMD and not NVIDIA. It said it had the AMD logo pop up when you started. I guess they switched. They realized that NVIDIA is more of a power horse. I know Borderlands runs on AMD. Yeah. 
I mean, you buy a game and you get it. Speaking of AMD. So the one you gave me, right? Yeah. So this is a 580. That box is not a 70. This is a 570? Oh, You're not yeah. a 580. Yeah. That's even better. <laughs> that means it's the exact same card that's in my computer, which means I can dual run these perfectly with Crossfire. Are you? I thought you bought a 580, Jason. The 570s. No, I I... The 570s. My old one. The one I bought before Andrew gave me his. So you have my old one. That he was yeah, going to give thought, to his dad. I thought I bought the 570. I'll have to look at it. I know the list I sent you was a 580. I don't know about that yet. It's just the same wow. list as Andrew, and then you changed the case and a couple other things. Uh, just, well, no, I bought everything. I bought everything but the case, and then I was going to build my own case, and then I didn't get to build my own case, so I just went and bought a case from Best Buy. Yeah. I want a new case. Me too. I want to build a case. I just want to put one on my wall. That's just like I want an to open build one. A bear. Build a bear. It is almost Christmas time. Andrew's got me singing Christmas music. I was going really? to decorate my room today. I didn't notice. I was going. I was going to decorate my room today, uh, but I got caught up with some work. I was going to put Christmas lights all around and have myself lit from that, and not having to use the, this light up here. It's lit. lit. Wow. <laughs> we, we, we both went the same direction too. Go have I'm myself stuck. lit. Super quiet. Lit. It's lit, son. It's lit. It's lit, bro. That's <laughs> what. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just too ready. What is going on? I think it's a rave. Yep, that's going in that video. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, and I. Um, I feel like had... we completely derailed. We were going in the direction. <laughs> now we're we were going in a good direction. Now he's just like. Well, Andrew and I had a I had a had an in depth conversation. Uh, and at the end of each month, probably not the exact day of the end of the month, but like around that week, we're gonna do it. Uh, best of that month because we already do ads for every every video, and those are usually kind of a funny moment. But now because he's put this idea in my head, I'm sitting here literally as I'm editing, cutting and like exporting clips throughout the whole video. So like um. We played the, the last week's episode of Halo. I have like 40 clips from that. And they're all about <laughs> like two to five minutes long. So I'm just like, great. Set up a redirected TikTok. Oh, no. We have one, but. And then do two to three part videos. Well, I, I could also just upload the clips on there because. To be honest, some of the clips are a minute long or under sixty seconds. Well, then that's that's perfect. But then some of the longer clips, you just do part one through four. But we are going to do at the end of each month a funny moment video. That's just all these different clips compiled. It's going to have a bar that comes up when the clip starts on the side. That's going to tell you the name of the video and maybe the name of the clip as I saved it, just to make it easier and you can go back and find the video and watch it. That's good advertising too. Uh, because I know some people like to watch just like the funny moments from the whole month sometimes. I know yeah. Andrew and I were are fans of Anos and we'll sit there and watch a funny y end of the year which is like three hours long and we'll sit there and watch the whole thing and laugh the whole time and it doesn't get boring. So we're going to do it monthly rather and maybe just compile all the monthly ones into one big video at the end of the year and just post it maybe change it up a little bit maybe i'll save the individual month as a file on a folder so i can actually go through and edit them again without it being exported but or we just actually get a different editor to do those but not maybe. right now right now it's going to be just us um, well you also you also could delegate it to one of us so we can just yeah i mean that's just stitching so yeah do one of those too 
Um, but I know I don't know if Jason heard about this, but did you see the new Shark Boy and Lava Girl trailer? No. They're no, making a. Is it a movie or a show, Andrew? It's a movie. <laughs> Taylor Lautner's mad. Why? He's not Shark Boy. How? Because he wasn't able to be in it. He, I think he had conflicting schedules or he's no longer acting or something. So they have a guy wearing a shark mask. Uh, I think it's actually oh, one of the dads. I think it's either the dad or the brother. Uh, or a brother so to someone in Spy Kids that's playing the new shark boy. Is there excuse? Is there excuse just that um, that he just evolved further? in his powers and now he doesn't have a human head no is he's wearing a mask he has a beard and everything underneath you can see his mus his like shave it's really weird we talked about how like those kind of movies are kind of crazy though like spy kids and shark boy and lava girl i remember <laughs> spy kids three that was the best one <laughs> no, no no two no. two was the best spy one. kids 3d Say it right, Andrew. No. I think two is the best one because it's got um, Steve one Buscemi. That... Like, it's all like deep. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever think God looks down on us in fear of his creation? Right? And that's like... why he hides in heaven. <laughs> like... It's like, dude, this is a kid's movie. <laughs> Throwing some shade. Um,. I never found interest in the older ones. I like the like older the... ones because there's giant moving fingers. Well, thumbs, <laughs> but <laughs> as a child, I saw those as my people. Help those us save us. Fruit, it's a madman. Help us save us. Fruit is a madman. Yeah, I saw those as my people. So instantly I associated myself with thumbs. the movie. Um, my, it's my brother. My, actually, it's my odd cousin. Um, yeah. They're not fingers, but they are thumbs. Yeah. Uh, but so I looked it up real quick. Uh, instead of Lartner reprising his road, it's actor JJ Doshna who wears the fins. Why actually Lartner did not return to the franchise is unclear, but one thing is obvious fans aren't happy about the shark boy, shark man. Uh, I'm not happy about imposter. it. In general, Shortly after the news was announced, Lautner's name began trending on social media. <laughs> We're going to make them regret this by making him more popular. Yeah, I'm just wondering why they had change, to make a new one all of a sudden. If, if we can change Sonic, we can change this. Because that's what they do. I still gotta watch Sonic. So do, do I. It's, really, it's, really it's cool. on DVD in Walmart. I have it. We'll pass it around. I tried. I literally, dude, the amount of times I've begged Dennis to watch it. He's I like, haven't no, denied it. You just exactly. haven't brought it by. You never asked for it. I didn't even know you had it. I don't have I've watched it. it by now. I yeah. bought it like the week it came out. Oh, I have HBO Max. I think it's on that. Oh, Jason. Gonna... There was something else on HBO Max. Bennett! I forgot. I wanted to tell you. So we talked about it a couple weeks ago. Um, I found out what show is coming from Rooster Teeth to HBO Max. What? Season two of Genlock. Which means the animation might be like even better, which it was already great my opinion they're for the the opaqueness that we've figured out midway through watching the show but yeah yeah i don't know when that started but rooster is making a lot of issues uh too not just with the whole ryan haywood thing in my opinion actually i'm a little disgusted with them uh why so warner brothers might be axing them possibly because warner brother owns them um i talked about this with andrew if you if you look up machinima which uh, do you know what machinima is like an old channel. Okay, so Machinima is one of the oldest channels on I know what a YouTube. is. <laughs> one of the oldest uh, gaming channels on YouTube, and they were a multi-platform network. So um, basically, if you were a smaller YouTuber or a gamer and you wanted to get like monetized at the okay. time. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, I know the concept. Uh, but this company was one of the first companies to do that. I actually was partnered with Machinima. I only got a penny back in the day. Even though some, one video made 100 bucks, I got a penny from it. Um, Machinima. But Red vs. Blue technically is, is a machinima because it's filmed in-game using the characters that were provided by the game to make a show, kind of. Uh, that was the original concept behind a machinima or machinimated. Um, machinimation? 
But Warner Brothers bought them at the same time as Red vs. Blue. Or, sorry, Rooster Teeth. Machinima wasn't doing as well as Rooster Teeth, so Machinima said, well, why are we giving them the same money as Rooster Teeth without them getting the same amount of views? So they chopped the channel. So if you go to the channel, they got like 13 million subs, but no videos now. Everything was taken down. Uh, everyone that worked there was fired, all this other stuff. Ro uh, Warner Brothers is again speaking about um, removing uh, employees or, you know, letting go employees. And because of all the bad publicity with Rooster Teeth, which people are fighting the fact that Rooster Teeth, you know, they, the whole business model of there's no such thing as bad publicity might save them. But that doesn't deny the fact that a lot more has come out with the fact that uh, animators that work there are actually uh, not paid anything over 40 hours. So sometimes they work like 80 hours a week and they're not paid for those 80 hours or extra that, 40. That's illegal in a majority, if not all of the United States. But they're also getting away with it because they started they stopped doing that and they started using full sale because they're partnered with full sale. And doing internships, which usually you're still paid something as an intern. Well, yeah, unpaid internships are a very, very, very fine line that way too many companies get away with manipulating. They make these kids maybe not work 80 hours, but they make these kids work on a show. Finish a couple episodes of the show, get rid of them, bring in new kids, do the same amount of hard work to them, make them get, do another couple episodes, get rid of them, do more. And it's just like dang guys you guys are not doing good right now a lot of people are coming out about rooster teeth talking about stuff also they're like uh one of the bigger shows is called ruby uh it's a it's an anime i know of it um they t they're taking all that content off of youtube because they want people to pay for their membership which they've always had a membership on their website but they want they are making people pay for a membership to watch their their anime and their regular content. yeah but but it's fine with that that's also more standard of a thing. Yeah. I mean, even like um, Corridor. Corridor's come to a point where some of the things that they're making aren't on YouTube because it's being funded by the people that are, are uh, paying through their new site. But they are going to so like, bring that's, it. Eventually. That's just a business decision branching out from what is YouTube to your own platform. Well, the big thing that I like about corridors and I know you and I've talked about it is that they're not necessarily going to uh, not let people watch the content. Like it is coming to YouTube, but if you go to their website and you're not paying, you can watch that content. You can actually watch it for free. You don't have to pay anything. So they're, they're still, they're still more fan friendly. I like to say, yeah. than Rooster Teeth is because I used to pay for a monthly fee for Rooster Teeth as a kid. Well, even, even still, and one of the things I like about the Corridor crew is they're still very passionate about what they do, or at least they seem to be. Oh, yeah. Like, they're not, they're not super huge money-focused. Like, they're, they're there because this is what they love doing and this is what they love talking about. And, like, yeah. Yeah, I watched... Uh, I watched an Achievement Hunter video and they were talking about Corridor. They were watching VFX artist stuff. And I was like, hey, my two favorite YouTube channels talking about each other. Because they've talked to uh, Corridor have actually worked with a couple people at, at Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter. And they've talked about working with them and stuff on no some of their. Huh? I said no doubt. Yeah. They did a uh, slow mo, guys. It's actually a Rooster Teeth thing. And Gavin is the guy that plays. Really? Yeah. That's actually how Gavin was able to get a visa to work in, at Rooster Teeth. Uh, so he uh he works for Achievement Hunter, but he did some stuff with them, some guillotine stuff they did, the guillotine channel they made. Uh, but well, also Gavin's worked on uh the Sherlock Holmes movies. All the slow mo scenes were him that helped too. But yeah, that's cool. They worked together a couple times, but it was just cool to hear them talk about the whole Mandalorian thing and how they learned that it wasn't any of none of it was green screen. It was all uh basically built an Unreal Engine with TV monitors that were yeah. camera tracked and everything like it that one day i want one of those if they make it's it the consumer ready vr or the ultimate ar both probably ar yeah no that that's that's a difficult line there i don't know i i, I still consider I'd it like a AR. green screen it's still a green we shall, screen we shall call it var <laughs> virtually altered reality can we call it var let's var just call it ballast to arc Var. The cabal Var. have waged war on Mars. Var. Speaking of Destiny, 
People hit the worlds mm. first, and it wasn't even a raid team or a regular team. Was it, it been us? Players? Just players. It could have been us this it time. Could have been us. I didn't know it was coming out. Nobody told me. Well, we, none of we us were. None of, none of us were raid ready. Anyways, you have to be twelve thirty to even get into it. The only well, you have to be twelve thirty to actually do damage, like good damage. And even even for me, and I'm I'm like I was like twelve thirty two. How many? How many raids have I run with you guys where I've been forty light below? What's necessary? All those raids were seven fifty, but you were like ten. What? The raids we ran were old raids. Yeah, those they were set back. They were all set at the lowest light level at seven fifty. So all of us were about the same level, anyways. Mm. At that point, it was just a matter of well, like, there's, there's been plenty of missions, and I, I feel like there was at least a couple raids where I was way underpowered. Well, this this raid we barely did any damage. Kevin, to the enemies we came across. Kevin, I think is the second highest out of the four of us. I'm oh, only at twelve oh nine. Were they skulls for you? You said I think. I believe so. Yeah, yeah they were just swords they for me, which is me. still red. <laughs> yeah, no, Andrew's a higher level than I am. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So by the end of this week, we plan on running it at some point, either Sunday or Monday next week. If we run it Monday, we can do it with you. Um, but I, I'm probably I plan to be about ten forty by the end of this week. Today. 1240. I want that sword. Yeah, I, that sword mission. They unlocked so much of the game, which was like super exciting. Like there's actual missions now to do again. Uh, there's so many new things that are coming out. The sword actually unlocks parts of Europa. Like Destiny finally. Really? Well, the, the, the place that you showed me today with the big exo head. That wasn't going to be a mission unless people completed the raid. And they even talk about the raid in the game now. Like it's yeah, the first did. time the raid actually is in correlation to what's going on in the world. Like, I mean, of course they always talk about like where Eris always says like Cro uh, Crota killer and stuff like that. But like at this point, like it's, it has, it's not fresh anymore. It's not like it happened a week ago and then they're talking about it in game literally the same week it happened. About a week ago. But ago. yeah, I, I think Zelda's doing some cool thing. Or... <laughs> Zelda. Zelda. I mean, they are, they just released Zelda. a new game. Zelda's doing pool things. I think I was... he flubbed. I think he flubbed twice there. I think he said Zelda. I know he said Zelda, and then I think he said pool. I was trying to say Destiny. Like thing you swim in. I was trying to say Destiny, but I looked at my list real quick and I had Zelda written down, and I just read the word Zelda in my mind while trying to say Destiny. When does Breath Two come out? It came out last week. Uh, not no, that's a while no. too. That was calamity. That's uh, a page war calamity. It's a what? It's a sequel to the first one, but a prequel to the Breath. I thought it yeah, was Breath it's... Two. No, no, they're still working on Breath Breath of the Wild Two. If Breath of the Wild Two came out, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Was this last one called Hyrule Warriors? Yeah, Hyrule Age of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is a prequel before Breath of the Wild. Okay. I don't even play the game, and I know that. <laughs> but it's still a big I one. Still have, I still have to play. Breath is it a of the still? Wild. Is it still a big game, or is it smaller? No. Hyrule Warriors is a completely different game. It's um, they look good. I saw some gameplay. Oh yeah, it looks almost like it, like you can play as the Divine Beast at some point too. Oh well, yeah, it's got a, it's more of a hack and slashy type game where you just go and fight tons of enemies at once. So Diablo, is it like a... not entirely. No, there's it's hard to explain what it is. I know, I know they don't. They have the first one on Switch. Breath of the Wild, or no, Hyrule the Warriors? first Hyrule Warriors. Uh, I have no idea. I know it was out on the Wii U. I thought they did. There's more. I thought they, I thought they like remastered it or something. Oh, yeah, the the or first Hyrule Warriors, the first Hyrule Warriors took place in like the beginning timeline of Zelda. It's a whole thing. <laughs> I would love to go yeah. through and play through the like original Zelda games at some point. Yeah, the whole Zelda series is a whole thing because you can't figure out if they're all following the same timeline or if they're all in different universes or if like well, are they yeah. just are they just eons apart from each other and it's just different ages of the same world and the same reincarnated 
uh, characters, or is it like completely different universes, or like what the heck is happening? Well, it's all because of Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time is what broke it because then you got Past Link and Future my Link, favorite game. both somehow living, but also like it's weird. Yeah. But apparently, Breath of the Wild is what brings all the timelines together somehow. Breath of the Wild is my first Zelda and my only Zelda. So. I think it's I think it's supposed to be along, I, I think it's supposed to be something along the lines of uh Breath of the Wild being the original incarnation of the characters. Or the final incarnation of the characters, however they're gonna end up working it. So the next game better be like freaking Doctor Strange multiverse. Dude, I, I, I don't know what to expect from this. They next do that game. they do that all the time though. Like, I wasn't expecting a second Breath of the Wild, and then they announced it. I'm just like, oh my at, god, there's more? <laughs> at, this point, at this point, they've got enough versions of all of the characters that they could make their own kart racing game for each character. Oh, and no still doubt. have enough characters for everybody. Zelda kart? <laughs> just got, Zelda kart. No, they just call it Triforce. You got beginning Link with no, the Skyward Sword. You got Link to the uh, Past. The Triforce and... Cup is the name of one of the ra- uh, racing tournaments. That's Triforce just be the their own version of Smash. <laughs> All the links and stuff going against each other. Yeah, I know. Well, I know Link, uh, Link, they already in. Link's yeah, they already in have Smash, like so. four variations of Link in Smash. <laughs> yeah, they got Toon Link. They got. Uh, I like a young version. link, yeah. Like adult link. I got um, Link from Breath of the Wild, which is broken. I got Link from um. Yo, nothing. They ain't got nothing on King Kong, bro. Dennis, what? Steve. Steve. And oh yeah, Minecraft. You can literally ride a cart back there. and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then just. Steve. We literally played the DLC playing as uh. I was Alex. He was Steve. He, all he did was just ride the minecart back and forth across the map. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, but you still won because I kept falling off the map and I don't, press, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get up. Like, there's the up B for that character is literally you pull an Electra out, you fly in a circle at the same height you're at, and then fly off the map. Yes, yeah, it's, it's wow. difficult. That's, that's a, a lot of fun though. That's a garbage up B. I'm it's supposed to have like like five or six more screen, characters. But if you're wondering why I keep disappearing. What? 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 I said I'm trying not to drink branded products on screen. If anybody keeps wondering why I okay. keep ducking that's, off. To hey, the side. hey, Jason, that's why I drink the wrong product. It's called tap water in an Arizona bottle of sweet. This is why. You, this is why you guys need to get like no branded webcam? water bottles. Well, it also doesn't matter as long as you say you're not sponsored, or as long as <laughs> you don't get... say anything about it. Dude, branded Just... water bottles. I'm... Yeah. If, if you start like saying it and promoting their product, like then just just hit everybody with the hashtag not sponsored. Um then they really get on you. There was something there was something we were gonna do, a shirt that we were gonna make. I wrote down a shirt that was gonna be made. I was gonna make a shirt. I had a bunch of them. <laughs> you know the, the the redirected logo with the original circle <laughs> excuse me, around it what? would actually look really good uh on a on like a sweatshirt. Or like a jacket without the zipper. I might make that for a win. Someone whipped out their the ocarina. I want the fur coat. I want it. <laughs> I want it. Perfect for Tennessee. I'll tell you how bad this sounds. I haven't played this thing in forever. I mean, on my, actually learning. I mean, on mic. <laughs> Oh. oh my! Sounds like an eight bit game already. The the love of his life uh, works at cons every year and sells. Uh... Y'all y'all insist I kept going back to that booth for the girl, and it wasn't. It was these. Well, no, no, no. You you did go back there and talk to her a lot, though. I went back there and played with these. Yeah. No, there was a couple times I think we went over there and you were just specifically were just talking to her. You weren't looking at ocarinas anymore. They were just talking yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the best part was I got a flower from her, just like Corn's wife gave me flowers. She gave me... <laughs> yeah, if you ever have a crush on somebody, don't let it be obvious in front of him because he'll start flirting with them. <laughs> <laughs> Not true at all. 
You know it's true. No, I was I was trying to get you to go out with her, Jason. I was like, I asked her if she was married. She wasn't. She just wore the ring on that hand to make sure people didn't bug her. <laughs> oh no! It cuts out, which is funny. Um, just peeks the mic. Wait, well, it's it's hilarious because this is the one of the base. Like th this is like super low. This is Earth, and it's massive. Um. Yeah, so uh I think I, I, I think this one's an F. What's so I, I saw some people um actually it's Achievement Hunter, they were live streaming randomized uh randomized Zelda? Yeah, what is that? Oh fun. Very fun. Very hard. I do it a lot. It's just it takes the game and reshuffles items into random chests. Yeah. Is it made by Nintendo? Like is it actually no, in the it's game? Uh, it's a uh, no. You you take the ROM file and dump it, and then onto their pro the randomizer program. Oh, so it's like an emulator in a way. Yeah, you can run it on certain consoles, like the Wii. You can do. Uh, I know you can do Wind Waker randomizer if you have a modded Wii. Interesting. Oh. I kind of want to play I've been it. Doing, I've been playing a lot of Wind Waker randomizer lately. So, it's fun, but <sighs> what's the what's the is is it Majora's Mask that the one with the moon or and what's the yeah. second one? That's Majora's Mask. Majora, right? well, Majora's Mask was the second one on N sixty four, which is yeah. What's the first one? Uh, the very first Zelda or one on the N sixty four? Very first Zelda. Legend of Zelda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda. Okay, hey, you're teaching I... so. so... I never played it. Then you can play that one. I don't pay for Nintendo the, Live. Uh, it's three bucks. It's twenty bucks a year. I don't have <laughs> money. Fair emulate. Enough. True. I want to emulate it. Yeah. Your cell phone can run it. Download a cell phone emulator and just. Well, if I'm gonna download an emulator on my PC, I'm probably gonna like stream it. I downloaded a P, uh, PS3 or PS2 emulator on the PC once. I never got the thing running. It was, no. Oh, sorry. I was there. there. You downloaded Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> you got it working. This is the PS1. <laughs> you downloaded the Crash Bandicoot racing one that you could actually get out of the car and do stuff. Yeah. yeah. Fun. Which, that, that game came out recently, the new one. Uh, it's about time. Oh, yeah. I need that. People like it. Oh, yeah. uh, I heard that you can speed run it in 54 minutes. I don't, I don't like what they did to uh, Aku. Aku is that his name? Uka sure. Uka. Ah, uh, true. Because I'm tight. So um, it was Aku. So with with Thanksgiving being this week, going back to that from earlier, because I said we would talk about it, and oh, we're geez. we're not wrapping up or anything. I know probably we're gonna talk about something else, but I I liked I liked asking y'all uh, your favorite part of Destiny, but this time I'm gonna ask you, uh, like what what are what what is everyone's like best memory of like Thanksgiving? Yes, I don't know, man. All my Thanksgivings <laughs> are literally the same. It's just food, food and Thanksgiving people. Thanksgiving doesn't vary enough, and Thanksgiving is one of those holidays where, like, yeah, it's nice and sometimes it's calm, but just the amount of family stress doesn't outweigh the enjoyment most of the time. <laughs> like, there's not activities, there's not celebratory songs. Like you just all get together for dinner, and when families get together for dinner, there's just always a bunch of bad. Well, then Whether what about food? Or, you know, or, yeah. Can't go wrong with food. What's your favorite food item or Stuff. favorite thing you like to eat? Stuffing. Stuffing. <laughs> yeah, I was I was gonna go like if it's if it's food food and not dessert. It's either stuffing or like a really well made shepherd's pie. Oh, pie. I like pe I like pecan pie. Yeah. Pecan pie and some uh pumpkin pie. Pecan pie, pumpkin pie with a little bit of whipped cream on the top. Yeah. I'll, I just I'll want a spoonful of whipped cream. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie a la mode with some vanilla bean ice cream. 
I'm the odd one out. I get apple pie. Oh, oh I forgot about so apple pie. Yeah. But apple pie is like apple pie is a Fourth of July dessert, and like you could have it on Thanksgiving, but it'll never be a Thanksgiving dessert. Nope. Fourth of July has a Here's- dessert. Yeah, right. I don't. I don't do anything <laughs> on Fourth of July. I usually work. I just blow off fireworks and eat burgers. I'm just sitting uh, home and play video games most of the time. So here's here's one for you guys. Uh, the controversial question: pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie? Pumpkin. Pumpkin sweet pie. Sweet potato, actually. You are no longer my I mean, friend. I mean, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, everybody, everybody, hang up on Dennis. No, no, I don't. Do call. I don't mean it like that. I mean it like. Oh, I mean it like. Podcast. I I I don't know why I know why I said that. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I really don't care about the, the the stuffing or anything like that. Like I'll eat the pumpkin pie, and I love pumpkin pie over sweet potato. I learned that pota- sweet potato though is actually still pretty good if you don't have pumpkin pie. Like sometimes my grandparents will show up without a pumpkin pie and bring that, and I'll be like, "What the hell's this?" And I'll go, "Okay, this still tastes good." Um, but I'm actually more of the crust fan. I eat pie for the crust. You're a madman. All right. So again, uh, new call, new podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is the last time you'll be seeing Finger. He's um, he's being Please. booted from. The- <laughs> You're eating yeah. not for. He's gonna be sick for a while, if you know what I mean. I was sick for a week and a half. And no, and and no matter what rumors you hear, we didn't do it. That's that's. So can I, okay, so you want to know what my favorite food was back in the day? Because you guys are going to hate me for this too then. So as a kid, <laughs> I was super picky. And by super picky, I mean I had peanut butter jelly sandwiches as a kid with the, with the crust taken off. Um, my mom made I thought, this. I thought you loved the crust. I love crust now. You, you got you to gotta make, make a decision here. So as a kid, my mom uh, made this thing that we called pizza with nothing on it. With nothing on it, sorry. It's literally Bread? just it's just it's just basically the the pizza dough. She made homemade pizza dough, just cooked, and then I ate that. So you mean a pita? It, it's, yeah, but it was it was it's still pizza crust. Like it had that pizza crust edge to it still, um, but it was the whole pizza instead. So, um, as a kid for Thanksgiving, I didn't eat anything but pizza with nothing on it. Just the crust. Which is why I probably have an obsession with crust. If I get too full to eat the pizza, like if I buy a whole pizza for myself, and I get too full to eat the rest of the pizza, I'll just bite the crust off the end and then throw the rest away. I won't even save the pizza for another day. <laughs> what's that What's that meme about a pizza with nothing on it and half meat? So There's a meme? Nobody remember that? No. Yeah. Hold on. What? I don't know if Kevin will have a uh, like a webcam by this time, but I think that for our Christmas videos for the next month, we should wear ugly sweaters. No. Like one nerdy one. I'm buying one. I already have it in my cart. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but you're gonna love it. I I can give you and Jason a free ugly sweater from the church if you want. There's a bunch sitting oh, in the back of Bio's I'll office. Just... From I know I have one of them, but it's too small for me. Anyone I'll buy a one? Diablo ugly sweater. I want to get the new I, the Diablo 4 stuff they just added in the store is so good. I'm buying a Destiny one. There's one that I think and we should buy Andrew together, Jason, and that is a Baby Yoda one that has the 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 mud horn uh, all around the neck of it, but it has a pouch in the front that there's actually a stuffed Baby Yoda you can take in and out of it. Yeah, it's Nun Pizza with left beef. Just look that up. You'll you'll find what I'm talking about. Am I going to be sad after looking it up? You you will be, yeah. Okay, so don't look it up. <laughs> Not like sad, sad, but just sad. Nun pizza. Nun pizza with left beef. Get some boneless pizza. <laughs> <laughs> There's a necklace, apparently. Yeah. That's how that's how big the meme begins. See, this looks appetizing to me though. I'd eat that. <sighs> Actually, this is making me super hungry. <laughs> um 
This is the song <laughs> that never <laughs> ends. It goes on <laughs> and on, my friends. Some people started singing and not knowing what it was. And this is the rest podcast because we can't stop now. This is the song that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. Yeah. Um. I'm a metronome. I'm an off-time metronome, but I'm a metronome. Well, so, I, I can't believe that we're already in December. Or, next week, next Tuesday will be December 1st. I, hold on. Oh, um, will it? Like that means next Wednesday is my birthday. One second. It's already yeah. now, right? Yeah. One second. Uh, yeah. No. 28? Uh, 29? Not 9. You're 28. I think I'm turning 28. Kevin, I might how old are you? I don't know. Me? Yeah. Uh, 23. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think he's, for a minute. He's got to do the same thing I do where he goes. Okay. Because uh, uh, I always thought you were like a year older or a year younger or like two years older. But not two I'm years the older. Old okay. I'm the old man of the group. So I wasn't going to talk about it on the podcast because I didn't know if I was actually going to talk about it. But uh, I know Jason's made comments to me about possibly doing things in the next year up north. Um, but I've also maybe come to the decision of going somewhere up north next year at the end of the year, maybe beginning of 2022. Bye, Florida. Uh, but I'm probably going to go to Tennessee as well. It is close to my parents still. And I'm thinking about the Carolinas. I want to go to North Carolina. I want to go back to North Carolina really bad. But I was thinking about it because, like, so, like, my, my, my big five year dream for this thing. My, my, my. Sorry, 10 year dream. My, 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 my. Is like in 10 years from now, I hope that we're at a point that we actually have to, like, report to an office every day, the, all four of us. Maybe Kevin won't be there, but the three of us. And maybe we'll have more people that actually work there, too. I hope, I hope we're never that harshly structured. Well, it's going to be somewhat structured because it needs to to live. Because if it's not, Some, it's going to die. Somewhat structured, but... I'm fine with. Like I, I've been one of the complainers that we aren't structured enough. But like I don't, I don't want to turn our enjoyable living into another nine to five. Well, it's going to be. It's going to kind of be like that. It that's that's that that's I'm already at that point right now. <laughs> Uh, YouTube, even for people who just make the videos, don't even edit or anything. Like they have their own editors. They just sit down. Like they wake up, sit down. I base I basically think of it as um, like I mean, you know, my goal is to to was always to work for Achievement Hunter, but my goal now is to make the Achievement Hunter, but like in a better manner that's not like super political, I guess you would say. Um. But I'd love for us to actually have an office that we, you know, we go out, we hang there. Maybe we don't have to go there every day, but we still go there and that's where we do our videos and stuff. We can do our live well, action yeah. stuff better off too. We can do more live action stuff. Um, but yes, yeah, so Tennessee's cheaper as well in rent and also buildings up there are cheaper to rent or buy. So already there. Um, Andrew's moving up there and I made the comment that so basically what it would be would is I'm giving Florida one more year. Uh hopefully I'm I'm already by January I plan like if everything goes well with the job hunt by January I'll be in my own studio. If everything goes according to how I have it planned in my head, which it never does. Um give Florida one more year. If if everything's good down here, maybe stay another year just to, to help Ivan still get off his feet a little more. Uh off his feet. Yeah, uh, yeah, and then if it doesn't Fly go away, anywhere, if it doesn't go anywhere, move up to Tennessee as well. Get a place with Andrew, and then do what him and I were always supposed to do down here, but in a cheaper area. I can go visit my parents every more more often. Redirected, every more often. yeah, every more often, and then redirected. Maybe we'll eventually be at a point that we can actually work in building together instead of sending each other stuff through <laughs> Discord and stuff because it will be just clean your content too because we won't have to have these different like mics we can plug into one big board that's in the middle of the room put all yeah. our audio into that board record into an audacity which is on tv in the middle of the room and just beautiful and clean i've been watching a lot of setup videos for achievement hunter so i have that kind of up here it'd be math to andrew but um yeah 
So I think Tennessee is probably, or maybe even North Carolina or South Carolina or Virginia, maybe, but somewhere in that area is where uh, I think 2022 or 2023 takes us, or me at least. Everyone else follows. I, great. I don't think I would go back to Virginia. I've always wanted to, but I don't think I will. Going to Boone, not Boone, but North Carolina. Hey, Dennis. What? You're the only ten I see. I made that joke to Andrew uh, 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 constantly that, when that he made jokes, that. That joke's gonna be old when I get there. <laughs> but before he leaves, Dude, if, if, we're, ride, if we're all yeah. living in Tennessee, that joke's still gonna be happening. Oh yeah. No. Uh, knowing I, me, I'm gonna be the one saying uh, it too. Be sick if 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 you held off a year from moving, Jason, and we just both moved up to Tennessee at the same time. Oh, I have no idea how long it's gonna take me to figure out what I'm doing. But I think Tennessee or, or, or where I'm going. Yeah. I the only thing I went on vacation, I made the decision, screw the flatlands, I'm getting back in the mountains. That that was the end of it. I'm like, I'm the other thing too is I we're was closer to Kevin. down here in the heat and I'm done with it. We're closer to Kevin. I want to move to Montana. That's like my dream place to Isn't that like a opposite direction of us? <laughs> a little not, bit. Not from Minnesota, but as soon as we move there, you're gonna leave. <laughs> Unless, no, I... unless he moves to Alaska, he's not going in the opposite direction. What if we all move Tennessee? to Alaska? We'll get paid to I'm live just, there. I'm just going more Alaska. left. I would love to live in Alaska. I would, so you get paid to live there. After after a while. You've got to live there for a while as a resident before you qualify for the payments. Still want to move there. Yeah, because they don't want people just coming in and living there for like a month and then collecting a couple of paychecks and leaving the state again. Yeah, like right. you have to be dedicated to living there. Like you want to live in Alaska. The good thing is, you land Alaska. is land, land. They're pretty much giving out land almost for free, so you could buy some land and build a office there. It's <laughs> the only. It's the only remaining state in which you can genuinely homestead, where you can go find a section of land, confirm that it is unclaimed. And claim the land. Yeah. And as I mean, there's yeah. like there's requirements. There's things you have to do in order to lay claim to that land. <laughs> Are you singing this land is your land? This land is my land. <laughs> he this was. Land is your this is the worst. That's the worst time to sing it because we're so close to land. Thanksgiving. That's when America came in and stole the land, but not America, but really the English. Um. Yeah. Goodbye, Chicklet. This is a bad place for me. Nice. Yeah. Um yeah, that's that's the big plan. Uh, I think it'd be cool though. Like uh before Andrew land. leaves though, Jason. This plan. Which is, <laughs> might be like sometime spring, maybe he said. We gotta so we're doing one cookbook ep- episode at least, just to kind of get that mm-hmm. idea done. Uh we're doing for Christmas time, we are gonna film us making cookies together. So if that's the same day that we do that video too, great. If not, we're filming cookies. Uh, yeah, has the book. I sure do Ready? like your yeah. Christmas cookies. And then sure Andrew do. wants to do a sleepover thing, which we've always talked about doing sure still. Do like your Christmas cookies, babe. Did you see the video I sent you on TikTok, Jason, of the water uh, gun? It's like a water gun, but it shoots out like paintball water pellets. Oh, it, yeah. They're like a hundred and something bucks, aren't they? I found one for 64, and it's really good. It's like pressurized too, so when you shoot it, it actually shoots oh, out of it fast. It's called surge. Yeah. yeah, we're buying some of those. I already have three of them in my cart. Jeez. <laughs> we're yeah, gonna have a battle at the asking, church. I'm just asking to go to the hospital that night, aren't I? You're not gonna get hurt. It's just what you're gonna hit me in the eye. A lot. I was gonna say we're 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 all gonna wear swimming goggles. It'll be fine. Uh, dude, dude, I told awesome. Andrew, I said, we're, if we play that game, we're playing it in the field right next to the camera so I can ask Pastor Larry for the footage. <laughs> so I don't <laughs> have to cameras, bring a camera out that, there. The ring cameras aren't that bad well, if you have good internet. Another angle, though. Just get a drone. Kind of I have weird. a drone. No, that doesn't count. <laughs> I don't know where it is, but I have a drone. I have a drone. Weren't you supposed phone? to give me that thing? I don't know. Not give that's... it to me, but but bring it to me so I could that's, mess that's, with it. That's the problem is I don't know where it is. <laughs> when I find it, I'll, I'll bring it over and we'll play around with it. Um, Did you already bring it to me and I like stuffed it in the closet or something? No, because I never found it that day. It was like last week yeah. we talked about it, I think. No, yeah, it was a couple weeks ago. But. A few, rather. Um, Yeah. 
So <sighs> I feel like we've we've come up with some cool plans though. I would love to know, go to the Carolinas again though too. So if you decide Carolinas, Jason, I might just go. Hey, J- hey, Andrew, you have a choice. Come here, we'll visit you, or we'll come to you. I mean, I don't know. Sounds like a threat. Either you come here, or we're coming to you. The big thing is For like I. Too, I'm probably going to be in Tennessee. Period. Okay. Yeah. The, my my big concern. I'm moving out of there. That's why I kind of went with Tennessee was because where Nashville's at, it's literally like a two hour drive, three hour drive from my parents. So that's like going to Orlando for a day trip almost. Yeah. Uh, Cause my little brother, like the one I consider my little brother, no, sorry, the other two. Um, but like, I'm a, like, I just don't want him to not have someone in his life. Like, cause I was an only child and like, I just, I don't know. There's something in my mind that eats away every now and then that's like, yeah, he needs his brother. <laughs> Because he's the one I like. By that I mean, like, I was raised with him for five years, so, before I moved out. Or, sorry, three years? Four years? I was 15 when he was born. I moved out literally a week before graduation when I was 18. Three years. Yeah, math. I know, right? But, yeah. Are we playing Among Us? <laughs> Just cut the podcast. Um, hey Among Us uh, servers are, are like getting full. We should we should like go. No, I I do I do notice. I think we need to start, and I, I think Jason has made the comment a couple times, but maybe we should do like a like a brief podcast, like start filming and just talk and then eventually get to the points after we've been talking for a while. Cause like, I noticed like now we're at the point where we're relaxed a little more. We, we kind of do to a certain degree because we just start the recording whenever things started getting interesting. Yeah. Like we'll, we'll set everything up and usually you'll already be recording. And then like last week's uh, or the last one that was posted just started off with me Singing into the microphone. You were saying Christmas music, off. yeah. And I know a big and thing so a lot of... Just, just pick up wherever. I know a lot of creators don't like talk. Like, I especially have this issue in my mind where, like, if we're, when we're filming stuff, like, gameplay-wise, I don't like to talk about the filming procedures and stuff because I know it, like, takes away from it. But, like, for this, like, it's kind of nice to talk about, like, our plans and, like, our ideas and how things are edited because then, like, if we actually have people that watch them... They get an idea of what's going on kind of behind the scenes since we don't have a behind the scenes thing yet. One day we will. That's the whole point of the office too. It's like, if we get pretty there, we can actually have someone that sits around and records us running around being idiots. Like we always talk about having a camera on us at all times. That's bio's yeah. dream still is to have someone that runs around and follows us with a camera. I just, I just want, and I, I can't wait for the day when I can get a drone about that big. With a little camera on it that'll just hover over my shoulder like a third person view. <laughs> Do you remember there's a sports camera that they were they announced on like old commercials on TV that you wear like a band or like a bracelet that actually tracks you back in the day it was on a tripod. They could just turn that technology into a drone and kind of like Mandalorian baby pod it. Yeah. Where it floats behind uh, you and, and follows. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. What if we just build a Mandalorian baby bot? Buy the I'll get, no, sorry, I could three D print just a Mandalorian the, baby the pod. Child put, put the child in there, and then the eyes are the cameras. That's a little you creeper than what I was thinking, but I was gonna say we could also I could I could probably if we had the money we could buy a better drone, and then buy one of those cameras that come with the band and see if we can like program it to follow that band, uh, but flying. Maybe. Probably Raspberry Pi, probably. <laughs> it's a lot of work, man. That's like a year of work. I, I know some robotic guys. They could probably program the Raspberry Pi to automatically do it in five minutes and then just say, here, I've already built this for you, and be like, what the heck is this? It looks like something from Destiny. Yeah, fly it. <sighs> All right, no, no brand drink. It's ah, not the drink, it's the glass it's in. Don't do beverages <laughs> don't do beverages children oh that's one of the shirts that, i wanted to make <laughs> i wrote it down i have a that's list not of the shirts. problem here it's just i have a weird collection of glasses and some of them are branded yeah. and some of them are branded with company like i like the way the glass looks like it's this neat weird looking glass 
but some of them are branded with companies that we really shouldn't associate with if we're trying to be kid friendly. Well, basically, we'll just say that you have a Coca Cola glass that you bought from the dollar store that you put water in. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's sure. not soda. No. Oh. Yeah, like I, I have. Yeah, I'm I just, have... I'm just drinking Mountain Dew, but it's Mountain Dew in what? Sorry, continue. You just get so excited over what? I'm confused. Then you, I'll talk about it when you're done. I'm done. I wasn't saying anything important. So, de- so Deadpool three, uh, has been officially like, like meh. Like Marvel Studios has gone meh. Like here's the stamp. Like man, make it. Uh, I forgot who you were saying is writing it though, Andrew. Who is the writers? People, uh, the writers of Bob's Burgers are gonna come and help. Because so I know you can expect it to be even more of a comedy than it already is, and more sarcastic you know comedy what that too. Means, right. You Archer. know what that means, right? I gotta make an yes, Archer joke. Archer. <laughs> well, it also means that we get to see Deadpool interact with Tiny Tina. Not Bob's Burgers Tina, but the voice of Tiny Tina, who, who? also plays the other daughter that's not Tina in <laughs> um, Bob's Burgers. The, the thing I'm excited about is the, the picture that was released as the release announcement has claws, claw marks on it. And as we all know, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds have been doing a lot of advertising together lately. So I think it some, better happen. <laughs> I don't care if they use him again as Wolverine I, in other movies. I want it to be in just in the Ryan Reynolds universe. Yeah. Like, I, so. I would love well because he's already kind of confirmed it because he did the Hugh Jackman mask under the mask in the first yeah. one. But I would love that like Hugh Jackman's like, no, I'm not doing Wolverine anymore. I'm retiring this character. You guys have got to find somebody else. Do it do it another way or just don't do it at all. And then all of a sudden he comes back just for Ryan Reynolds. His bromance lives on. <laughs> I was about to say, because that's just that's Can't just the most don't. romantic story you could possibly make. <laughs> their their whole like uh hating each other thing they do for like Laughing Man Coffee and Aviation Gin. Is fake. They just do that for publicity, oh, and I'm... it's a joke, and it's hilarious because when you see them off camera, they're like hugging and kissing. Not really, but it's not. Um, they could. It's not freaking Birdman and Kanye <laughs> well, I mean, West kissing. Are, Don't doubt Ryan Reynolds. They are Canadian, so again, you can't say no to that man. Like Ryan Reynolds is like. I feel like I I I'm, I I feel like as a like I'm evaluating uh, myself, which I do too much in my own head. I think that I'm like. A, a more filtered like if i didn't filter myself i'd be very bad or as ryan reynolds just filter bad. himself yeah i think i was just trying to compare myself to ryan reynolds i have i have less and less filter as the years go on what's a filter <laughs> <laughs> filter what's this like we're talking filter like hot filters or, or like filters to go in your pool or something I cleaned my pop filter, dude. It looks sick. And I can touch I need to it. Get a pop filter. I wonder if you can see it. Look at this. Look, there's no more like goo- oh well the camera. Never mind. Um It's not as goobery yeah. as it was. Goobery? That's what we'll say. It's not it's not as goobery. It's, goober, 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 yeah. it's not as goobery as it was. That's gonna go on a shirt. I'm going for goober. I also had another idea, and I know Andrew probably would like this, but because you're so interested in like IGN and like reviews, and you, yep. I mean, we're trying to do some little reviews here and there. Uh, and we just talked about GameSpot before That's, the podcast. IGN is where I get most of my information because they're they're on top of things. Like the second it comes out, we may we may never get on top of them yeah. as as much as they are, but I think it'd be cool to have like uh, people dedicated one day, like people like. People that work with us that are dedicated to doing like reviews for games. Maybe we have like a website with like a blog page on it that we could have people even post on randomly that review stuff with us. Andrew, hmm? is that why you like cats too? Because they get they get on top of things, and that's where they. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know why I like cats at this point. <coughs> I was kind of forced I, I into liking cats. I, really, I just like my old like cats. Life, apparently, is it is it sad I if I can't tell you? 
I can't tell if you're talking about actual cats or the musical movie cats. cats. <laughs> I'm the idiot who bought the new cats on DVD. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you do like cats. I think you're just forced to interact with cats. And I don't I know why, but Dennis has freeze framed his. Okay, I am. Goes. I I am. I don't know to be mad, disappointed in the fact that oh. you made you, a cat. You meme. were incredibly still. Like that. That was genuinely <laughs> impressive. Because I kept checking, and I thought I thought that you had freeze framed so you could remove yourself and laugh in the background. But no, you actually. <laughs> Oh no, he has. He has freeze framed. No, it. I haven't. No, <laughs> that's impressive. You need to like paint yourself gold and go stand in the the square of some market. Do, and, do you and remember make the, some well, Halloween every year? I literally stand <laughs> so still that people go, "Is he real?" And they touch me and they go, "You have a lot of patience." Um, do it patience. again. Do it again. <laughs> well, now his head's moving. He's thinking too hard on it. <laughs> there you go. There it is. <laughs> See, that's impressive. What does the podcast turn into? <laughs> yes. Freeze framing. Yeah. There's, never mind. Um, <laughs> no, I was going to say there was like think, a pixel that moves. I think the moved. camera helps. I think the camera helps. Well, there's a pixel that moves on yours. Like, for some reason, there's one pixel that, like, adjusts whenever, like, you, like... You also do this thing where you start breathing, and, like, you can see your body exhaling, because you're slowly, like... Your body's going from here to, like, slowly doing this. Also, you're, you're wearing glasses. Which <laughs> yeah. reflect everything we're doing. <laughs> this is not how the podcast is going to be. Um... <laughs> Nope. Everybody freeze. Kevin did the best job out of all of us. We can't beat That's that. Impressive, Kevin. That's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Kevin's been freeze framed this whole time. Yeah, yeah no, I'm really good. The I like, can even old... talk without like. Uh, he's, he's a ventriloquist, man. No, he's he's lying because every time he talks, there's a green border that comes up around his name. Yeah. That's uh, the only that's emotion we get. Board. That's not my fault. <laughs> We'll just breathe into their mic. What was that? <laughs> that was me. I just like, <laughs> you know, we're a bunch of idiots when we get literally like intrigued by someone standing still for like five seconds and then going, is he lagged? See, Andrew is the one that we should worry about because there's times where his thing just turns off and he's freeze frame for us and dis. Huh? Who? Andrew. Remember every time he disconnects. Oh, you like, mean Launchpad McQuack? Yeah, Launchpad McQuack. Did you see the thumbnail for that one, by the way? It's literally Baby Yoda and the like, launch, launch pad McQuack inside the bowl, half sticking yeah, out. He's, like, he's I was like so proud up. of it. I was like, I looked at it, like, I didn't mean to do that. I looked at it later. I was like, oh. I like, I li I like that you use the old school launch pad McQuack, too. I didn't like the new one too much. Like, I don't like the animation style too much. It's cool. It's not bad, but I just don't think it holds up as well to the original Disney style. Not original G Disney, but like my generation Disney style. Well, also the the original DuckTales was Ooh. all hand drawn. Yeah. Like <laughs> Which I'm excited to watch all those movies again on Christmas month. Which ones? The one there was my favorite movie, I think, is the one that has like the three different tales. The first one is Goofy with working at the the tree farm. Or not? No, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's Goofy and be, being Santa for Maxi, and then Maxi what? finding out Santa's not real, and then finding out he is real, and then like Goofy's upset because like Goofy's just sad, and then Goofy becomes happy when he actually sees him, and's like, "What'd you wish for?" Or Maxi goes, "Dad, what'd you wish for?" I wished for you to be happy, and like then um uh and then like the next one after that is. Uh, Donald or the three kids repeating Christmas over yeah. and over Where and over. You wake up on a star. Oh, Chip, Chip and Dale, <laughs> like every day in the treehouse across the way, spinning around. <laughs> Avenge the <laughs> battle. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> what the <laughs> thing was called. Duel of the Fates. Yeah, you're the one that played the Porgs for me, Andrew. <laughs> You're the one that has the pork in the window. 
You also have a tauntaun. You're, you're the one whose chair sounds like a mix between Chewbacca and ta- a tauntaun. I, st- I still want the pop pork. <laughs> I haven't tried one yet. I wonder. Hold on. Why? Why do you think that? No, work? you cannot stick socks. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> This is where he hangs out now. You're talking to the mic, bud. Get it? Get it? Hangs out. Uh, uh. High five. I yeeted him across the room. No, Bree, I'm not giving you a high five. <laughs> what? She just does that randomly. Like, you'll be in the house, she'll come high up to you and go, high five. And it's like, no. Like, no. I, go, I just go, I go, no. And then she goes, why not? I said, I want to give you a crisp. I want to give you a crisp high five. Um, that's the voice I was trying to find. That's the, that's like the, 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 the trying to be corpse voice. Yeah. I want to give you a high five. Uh, so yeah, anyways, uh, this podcast has turned into nothing. Uh, we've been sitting here freeze framing for a while. You can't do that with smoke. That's hard to do. Um, what freeze framing with smoke. Yeah. I still Literally have gone. that image on my computer. The one that Andrew was confused by when I kept freeze framing with it. <laughs> uh kevin you weren't here yet uh this was like a, our third podcast or fourth podcast we did with jason uh and uh, we used to we used to stream our our obs through because it wouldn't pick up the webcams so we would stream our obs before i started filming on obs everyone's perspective and um so <laughs> it, i it, it would show our webcam in the, the square whenever you would do the the application share thing and I would just switch to an image I put in OBS of me just freeze framing. And then like, I would try to find where I was and kind of stand in it and then click on and off. And like, there was times where I was just doing this and it was just going like flashing and like, <laughs> I got to find that image. I'll show you later. It's just so stupid. Jason's trying. But again, I'm not. again, Andrews. I'm just sitting here listening. This is how I sit through most of the podcast. I, for some reason, I've taken to the habit of hiding my m- mouth behind the microphone. I've been working on um, not being in the mic so much. So, like, I've actually brought my mic down, and then, like, I'm, like, sitting here instead rather than doing this every week. Uh, well, this is still, so like, this is still, like, a hand's length away from my mouth. But for some reason, visually, I think it's the way I have my beard shaped right now. For some reason, visually, I just like the aesthetic of the microphone covering just below my mustache. Oh my! Yeah. My mic is barely a hand away. Like I can almost—I yeah. can't fit my hand. I'm still close to it. It's just I'm not. It's not yeah, here. Can, it's down I here can, now. I can touch the sidebar with the tips of my finger. That's that's the distance that that mine is right now. But I've also got big hands. But yeah, I think we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, because again, we're kind of going crazy, but also one, one more Mexico. useless fact. Oh, great! Drake Bell moved to Mexico. Oh Changed no! Now name. we got to talk about that. The Drake Bell, and according to Andrew, his money was uh, useless there. I don't know how that works because technically, it isn't like our money. I, I just, I just guessed on that. Oh, well, our money is worth more in Mexico, I think, right? Yeah. Yes. Like a lot. It's like two dollars for a dollar. Like two dollars and forty cents, I think. The inflation over there. I'll talk is nobody got? Is nobody gonna touch the Taco Bell joke? <laughs> wow! <laughs> first thing, first thing that came to mind. I can't hang up because I'm the one <laughs> recording the call. <laughs> but I don't know if you can tell the disappointment. Disappointment. Disappointment on my face. I turned it. Why did I just turn into freaking Mike Tyson? <laughs> disappointment. I'm so sorry. Oh, so, so disappointed. I'm so different. I'm so very sorry. Oh Trust my, me my on bad. TikTok. 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 My dad's on TikTok, at Jason. And guess what? He sends me the same videos you send me, and I send him the same videos I send you and him. He, he was. I, he came in my room when I was streaming the other day, and I literally went to go like look myself up, and he's like, "I'm already following you. What are you doing?" 
I'm like, oh, so you saw that one video? He's like, yeah. I said, oh, no. And he's over here bopping. Keep <laughs> bopping. You have bopping. no idea. <laughs> but I do want to play Among Us a little bit. Why is Chicklet walking the same direction off the edge of your bed that she's been like three times? Your cat's just doing laps. <laughs> she's trying to work <laughs> off that belly fat. No, the kids are here, so she's not going out of my room. Like I brought, she doesn't want to leave the room, so I started. I just brought her food and the litter box in here to make it easier on her. And guess what? I don't get meows anymore. She just lays meow. on the bed and stays quiet. So maybe the trick is bring the litter box in the bedroom. Meow. But no. Anyways, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Andrew gave us some useless facts, and uh, that's the end of the podcast. You'll get one of them every week. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll talk to you guys next week. Uh, after Thanksgiving and the beginning of next year, which I will have my room decorated, I swear. The beginning of next year? Yes. Bye. <laughs> we won't see you for a month. We're taking a month off. Don't worry. No, we're Stop. doing Christmas episodes. I wasn't informed. Yeah, we're going to do Minecraft for sure for Christmas time. We're going to do Minecraft. one. If we, do, if we don't do a lot, we're going to at least do one Minecraft video that's Christmas we need, We We need more people. Why? I don't want to say it on the podcast. I had a great idea. We need more people. Kevin, you have Minecraft, right? No, I never played it. What is it? No, wait, that's not true. We played Feed the Beast. <laughs> Didn't we? I have Minecraft. No, yeah, but you're the Feed the Beast person. Yes, I feed the beast all the mods. I just, all the mods. I just love that he's like, no, that's not true. <laughs> like, just, just so matter of fact, it's it. No, I don't know. What is that? No, that's not true. <laughs> that that must be a lie. Surely I remember a time in which we played it together. <laughs> they have a Star Wars uh, whole DLC that just came out. Like, it's an actual DLC. You can go to different oh, planets. Oh, yeah. You can, feel, you can live on like different planets. I feel like it's the extreme version of Lego Star Wars. Kind of. What's the Christmas special? I want to do Middle week. Earth. I want to okay. actually take the trail of Middle Earth. That's yeah. That's the that's the that's the plan for the one uh, we're gonna do. You can you can actually take the exact trail that they took in the movies. I want to go to Disney oh, Park. Yeah. You know, there's a Disney Park uh, Minecraft server that you can actually ride the rides, listen to music that's playing in the towns. You can buy hot dogs and eat them. Like it's like a full fledged Disney thing. I think Disney actually worked with the mod creators on it. I don't know about that. I think the guys built it themselves. Well, so it's pretty sure Disney would probably shut that down or try to profit everything from it. Well, the reason they did it was it got really big during COVID, and Disney hasn't been able to have people go to the parks. So Yeah, but Disney could have tried to profit. Maybe, maybe not. Disney, Disney would have made you buy the mod. Yep. They would have. But... Yeah, we're we'll, we got some plans for Minecraft. The bad the bad thing is like we have to figure that out because we have a lot of Minecraft plans and we just got to splur them out for over long periods of time. We probably could film Minecraft yeah, for literally right, the next five years. Minecraft channel, so you can all start following. We're just gonna do nothing but Minecraft all the time. I'll set up the servers. <laughs> I, I I I I'm gonna be. I'll I'll have a realm. Oh, oh, we're playing that. My oh, no, we're not playing. It's not a mod. I mean, do you? Would you rather set up a server? How, how are we setting? Up a well, server? I, was, I was thinking Java. You know, well, I use the Java version, but you can do. You can do realms on Java version and play with the Xbox people or play with anyone. I, yeah, I think you, I know you can do that. I don't think you can do modded realms though. So. Try. I, I've seen some people do it. Either way, we'll figure that out. If we have to go through Creeper Host like we did back in the day, we'll do that again. Creeper or by was... the time we actually start doing that more, I'll probably have to go decent internet to host it. That way we don't have to pay for a server. We can also just buy We can build a server, uh, a tower, and just actually host it on a separate computer. Maybe. We'll figure that out. I mean, I comes. technically do have another computer that's not being used. I just need a... a hard drive. I have one. Actually, I might 
We'll talk about it off stream. Off, off, yeah, off yeah, yeah, yeah. I have four hard drives. I was just thinking about it. I have another computer, and I have I have the internet right now. Like I have the one gig internet, so we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it in a few minutes. Bye, guys. Thank you. Jason's falling asleep. He's already done with this. Bye, Jason. <laughs> Bye, guys. He's just gone. <laughs>